Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer on this Tuesday, September 22nd. This morning, we we, we will be commemorating uh, St. Matthew, Apostle and Evangelist. Um, if you might have heard that his feast day was actually yesterday, September 21st, from evening prayer. But because we do morning prayer on Tuesday, thir- uh, Thursdays, and Saturdays, we're going to be commemorating him today. Born at Capernaum, St. Matthew was working as a tax collector when he was called by Jesus. He wrote his gospel in Hebrew and is said to have preached in the East. Let us begin with our shortened liturgy. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. First reading is from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Ephesians, the fourth chapter. I plead with you as a prisoner for the Lord to live a life worthy of the calling you have received with perfect humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another lovingly. Make every effort to preserve the unity which has a spirit as its origin and peace as its binding force. There is but one body and one spirit, just as there is but one hope given of all of you by your call. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and works through all and is in all. Each of us has received God's favor in the measure in which Christ bestows it. Thus you find scripture saying, when he ascended on high, he took a host of captives and gave gifts to all. He ascended. What does this mean but that he had first descended into the lower regions of the earth? He who descended is the very one who ascended high above the heavens, that he might fill all with his gifts. It is he who gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers in all roles of service for the faithful to build up the body of Christ, till we become one in faith and in the knowledge of God's Son, and form that perfect man who is Christ come to full stature. Let us then be children no longer, tossed here and there, carried about by every wind of doctrine that originates in human trickery and skill in proposing error. Rather, let us profess the truth in love and grow to the full maturity of Christ the head. Through him the whole body grows, and with the proper functioning of the members, joined firmly together by each supporting ligament, builds itself up in love. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And a reading from a homily by St. Bede the Venerable. Jesus saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax office, and he said to him, Follow me. Jesus saw Matthew, not merely in the usual sense, but more significantly, was his merciful understanding of men. He saw the tax collector, and because he saw him through the eyes of mercy and chose him, he said to him, Follow me. This falling meant imitating the pattern of his life, not just walking after him. St. John tells us, whoever says he abides in Christ ought to walk in the same way in which he walked. And he rose and followed him. There is no reason for surprise that the tax collector abandoned earthly wealth as soon as the Lord commanded him. Nor should one be amazed that neglecting his wealth he joined a band of men whose leader had, on Matthew's assessment, no riches at all. Our Lord summoned Matthew by speaking to him in words, by an invisible interior impulse flooding his mind with his light of grace. He instructed him to walk in his footsteps, in his life, in his way. Matthew could understand that Christ, who was summoning him away from his earthly possessions, had incorruptible treasures of heaven in his gift. As he sat at the table in the house, behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat down with Jesus. And his disciples. This conversion is of one tax collector gave many men, those from his own profession and other sinners, an example of repentance and pardon. Notice also the happy and true anticipation of his future status as apostle and teacher of the nations. No sooner was he converted than Matthew drew after him a whole crowd of sinners along the same road to salvation. 
he took up his appointed duties while still taking his first steps to the face. And from that hour he fulfilled his obligation and thus grew in merit. To see a deeper understanding of the great celebration Matthew held at his house, we must realize that he not only gave a banquet for the Lord at his earthly residence, but far more pleasing was a banquet set in his own heart, which he provided through faith and love. Our Savior attests to us, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and eat with him and with me and he with me. On hearing Christ's voice, we open the door to receive him, as it were, when we freely assent to his promptings, and when we give ourselves over to doing what must be done. Christ, since Christ, since he dwells in the hearts of his, his chosen ones through the grace of his love, enters so that he might eat with us and we with him. He ever refreshes us by the light of his presence, in so far as we progress in our devotion to and longing for the things of heaven. He himself is delighted by such a pleasing banquet. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. God of mercy, you chose a tax collector, St. Matthew, to share the dignity of the apostles. By his example, help us to follow Christ and remain faithful in your service. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Remember us, Lord, when you come to your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We wish you all a blessed day and look forward to seeing you in the evening for evening prayer. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.